Uh, that's me, Dick Christie, and I did this on every single episode. <laughs> I don't know what I'm laughing at either. <laughs> and that's me, Marla Pennington, in the kitchen, as usual. <laughs> and that's me, Jerry Suprian, going back to bed. <laughs> now, I love those pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, this is interesting. You say Suprian, we all said Superan. Yeah, it's Suprian, it's Portuguese. Suprian. Well, it's like Brett Favre, Ray. Right, Favre. exactly. Brett Favre. <laughs> well, he'd be <laughs> That's right. That's interesting. I had, I had no idea. Yeah. So I, I apologize for mispronouncing your name all these years. Oh, I'm used to it. Everybody does. Yeah. Now, Dick, you wrote this episode, didn't you? I did. I wrote it with uh, Tom Amundsen and David Ruprecht. Uh, David Ruprecht being my best friend who I screen tested against. Uh, for the role, and of course I got it. And uh, Tom Amundsen was another great friend from Minneapolis. That was great. And was we came in to <laughs> Howard, and, like and I, I said, Howard, we'd like to write an episode, oh, thanks, thinking he'd say, no, no way. Yeah, yeah. And he said, sure, way. go ahead. Test so we came in and, bulb, and tested the, the, the... You pitched it? We pitched first? the story about the grandparents. It's a three-way bulb. And we wanted to make it kind of, uh, kind of touching. And uh, he said, sure, go ahead. So uh, we did, and this is the result. Well, she has a built-in micro generator with a 440-volt capacity. That makes sense. And me and Tiffany heard that you uh, had pitched an idea, and so we went up and tried to pitch an idea. <laughs> That's what I heard Did about you that. really? Yeah, we tried to pitch an idea about Halloween, oh. about um, how... At the time, it was uh, kids were getting things put in their candy, uh-huh. and it was about that and how <laughs> Tiffany found the stuff in the candy, and it was it was denied. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea, though. It is though. a good idea. That's what, all right, we had two ideas. I forget the other idea, but no, those were really the two ideas. Oh. There's huh. a girl I kind of like. She's 13. Do you guys remember when we went to Napti? We did it a couple times women. for syndicated uh, television. Yes, it was to in New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. It was so much fun. And it was it was crazy because we had Mary Guerrero, who does hair, Diane Schatz, who does makeup, Paul Forrest, who was our stage manager, Donnie Beck, who was the PA. Mm -hmm. They paid for their own way and for their own hotel just to hang with us. That's right. That was a, a great trip. That was a great trip. And we didn't have to pay, yeah. and we got limo to We all drank great. swamp juice. Oh, and we had that one dinner. Where was that at? Galatones? I don't remember. I, I, I made the mistake of drinking too much when I was down there. You? <laughs> yeah, me. I can't believe it, but uh, I did. That's great. Except no, we maxed out thing. Fox's card. How are we gonna tell my dad because we're ordering 100 old brandies oh, at the yeah, end and right. cigars. It was crazy. Robots. I think that's when they decided to cancel the show because <laughs> <laughs> no. we were over budget. I remember the, so the great fun. gifts that we got at that. That convention. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that was wild. You That's know, they really can't fun. do that anymore. Well, they, they do, but you have to pay tax on it. Right. My grandfather may not huh. be too thrilled about having a robot in the family. After working for the same company for 40 years, he was fired and replaced by a robot. Oh. And he's still bitter about but it. Dick, did you give me any laugh like lines? The fact that I work for a robotics company. Yeah, I gave you laugh lines. <laughs> fact is, Watch, here's he really one hates coming right robots. Now. He really hates robots. <laughs> now... Nothing gets past those pink yeah. little microsensor ears of hers. <laughs> Listen, why are we worrying? See, huh? I give you a I laugh mean, line. You <laughs> 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 like we do, huh? And then we'll tell them the truth. All right. Anyway, I got to get to work. Come on, Vicky. Well, if the truth be known, Marla, we, we really didn't think you could handle the comedy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, no, honey, I'm going to have her carry it piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. I'm glad you told us. <laughs> Well, Tom on, and baby. David and I ended up writing, I think, five episodes, uh, which was really a lot of fun because do, we had so much fun together Brothers writing. I mean, oh, we'd you laugh guys and were so and much fun and together. And then we'd, we'd have fun. And, word, you give it your full power, and, uh, okay? Well, so you directed some. I directed, yeah, I think I directed three. But <laughs> you remember, weren't in. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was in minimally, yeah. Right. But I remember Jerry... You came up to me after one, and you said, you're the best director we've ever had. And yeah. that meant a lot to me. Yeah, that I did fun. enjoy working like on those. Because I gave you guys a lot of shtick. Yes. I remember right. I gave you a, a, when I gave you a spit take. Hey, everybody. 
you know, you were ta taking some water and somebody said something to you and then you spit the water all over. Oh, who wouldn't love that? <laughs> These were very sweet people. <laughs> hey, let me look at you. Is that oh, a yeah. handsome fella? <laughs> I never argue with my elders. <laughs> Did you bring me a present, Grandpa? Jamie, that's rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, I think it's interesting that I didn't Did hug my mother or my father. I, I, why, why was that? I, I don't know. I, I'm more fond of your parents than you are. I, well, you know, and since I wrote the episode, uh, I didn't write that in, so... Uh, oh, so it was directed. It was, well... It well was, no. no, it was a mistake. I, I didn't write it ah, in. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So it's my fault. Ugliest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Daddy's always wanted one of those. What is it? That is an African medicine man mask. It keeps away evil spirits. Hmm, I would imagine it would keep away his wife, too. <laughs> That's my last one. Yeah. Oh, it's so good to see you. Well, you nailed you. it, Mom. Thanks, Dick. Oh, thanks, Mom. Mom, Dad, have a seat. Uh, we've got a little surprise for you. Oh, what? Well, it's concerning an addition to the family. Really? Oh, that's right. Well, that's wonderful. But you don't show a bit. You're as flat as a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we've adopted a little girl. That's right. Well, that's just as good. I always wanted a granddaughter. I'll get it. That was, I remember writing that line. It was my favorite line. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and it was, but again, it was so mean. We were always well, so it's mean. Always, yeah. <laughs> to, Hi, honey. Hi. No, wonder, no wonder she was a pill. Because <laughs> yeah. Because you were always so mean to her. real kitty. Is this our new granddaughter? No. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them alone. I think they like me. <laughs> What we mean is, is that Harriet's our neighbor's adorable daughter. <laughs> what do you want, Harriet? Well, my mother happened to be looking out our window, and she happened to see these people come into your house. So she wondered who they were. They looked pretty important through her binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is your mother a member of the neighborhood watch? No, she just watches the neighborhood. The, you know, this is interesting because I remember... Writing the episode, we wrote it at my house, and we had just purchased that house in Cheviot Hills right, right. that was Buster Keaton's house. Right, and, and you thought you were seeing the ghosts of Buster Keaton. Well, there was. There was, there was there, the things kept moving in the house, and there was, there was it, it, they, the, the, the I on L.A. had a, had a, 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 a spiritualist or whatever you call him come over to the house, and he said, yes, Buster Keaton is in this house. He's living. Now. I don't know if you remember this, but I was talking to one of the guards around there who'd been around Metro Media forever, mm -hmm. and I told him the story about, you know, being Buster Keaton's house, and he was there, and, and you know, there were all kinds of events happening, and he said, he said, I'll tell you something even more interesting, he said, your dressing room was Buster Keaton's dressing room in his only time he was on TV. Really? Said, really? Yeah, so I thought that was really it. That is interesting, Dick. Yeah. I'm sure a cute little thing. <laughs> <laughs> she certainly has uh, an unusual voice, mm. doesn't she, Bill? Well, that, that's because of her, uh, her uh, uh, tonsils. <clears throat> <laughs> She's got three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Big as walnuts. Three tonsils? Life. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I have a little trouble believing in myself. <laughs> well, uh, well, why don't you pack and freshen up Mom and Dad, and then we can have a nice chat. I have a better idea. Mother, why don't you unpack, and I'll stay here and have some fun with my new granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Sound good, you little darling? Sounds good, you little darling. You remember the, the, the episode we had with the swimming pool? Yes. I was just thinking about that, and I was hoping we were going to see that one. But, but I think it's later on in the seasons. Yeah, but remember, they filled the swimming pool with L.A. City tap water, and with that much tap water, it was so filthy it was that none of us would go in. Remember that? It was just—it was so dirty. We said, "This is what we've been drinking all these years," and so they had to drain the whole swimming pool and put uh, filtered water in it. You know, like. 
like uh, Arrowhead Water or something. Do you remember that? I, I don't remember that That's specific. I remember the show really well. I remember the show. I remember swimming in the pool. Yeah, well, I, well, I remember. Maybe it was just me that said, I'm not getting in <laughs> Well, I didn't have to, so I didn't. I had to pick out my own bathing suit and cover up, so I was happy. That's right. And the old, there was always, when we had those big things, there was always some technical problem, it seemed. like There was the, the time we had, uh, we thought we won the lottery or something, and we had a pillow fight. Oh, my gosh, that was terrible. And the pillow, the little feathers got stuck in my throat. And you were coughing, and, and they were in my eye, yeah. and I remember and the, you were supposed to break the lamp, and the lamp wouldn't break. And That's right. And I, I coughed the rest of the day. I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, I hope you didn't overdo, Bill. Oh, well, they weren't stunt pillows. They were real job. pillows. That's right. But they were down that, in it. Yeah. That episode took forever. She never runs down. Yeah. It was like she the time you, you were supposed to say article? at the end of the show, oh. suffer and suck a tash. <laughs> and you suffer couldn't say it. Fish. And you said <laughs> suffer and suck a fish for <laughs> 10 minutes. I know. It was so bad. And they started apologizing to Peter Baldwin <laughs> on camera. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I remember I said, you know what? I'll be in my dressing room. And when she figures it out, I'll come back out. Oh. And to this day, I don't know what girl, happened. So yeah. Suffering suckerfish. And <laughs> Tiffany well, would get the hiccups. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. She'd get the hiccups, and remember, we'd have to stop, What's stop, can't, to stop taping for ten yeah, minutes. The truth is, Vicky stands for V-I-C-I. Oh, here comes Voice the big reveal. Child identifant. Vicky is You're very a serious about it, Dick. Experimental robot that I invented. A robot. Yeah. Here, look. <laughs> and that would get stuck See? sometimes, too. Isn't yeah. it wonderful? Yeah. I, I'm so proud of Ted. He's made a major scientific breakthrough. Do you mean that, 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 that she is really a, a robot? Well, we don't think of her as a machine. She's become a member of the family. Yeah, and she's better than a real sister. She doesn't waste all her time in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... What do you think, Dad? I think you did a great job. You do? Of playing me for a sucker. What? You duped me and I fell for it. Here I thought I had a real granddaughter. That was the old no switch conflict a, a <laughs> technique in bullets. writing that we did. I don't like you. Oh, oh Bill. No, don't old Bill me. I feel cheated. Tom Ammons yeah, and David Ruprecht went on to guest star in a couple episodes. Right, the ghost one. Take jobs. In fact, I think... The Lost in the Horror. Right, yeah, that's, that's it. Right. And then uh, David was in the one where it was the supermarket, the testing. Right. <laughs> oh, Ted. Son, I'm sorry. I remember, I, I, I used to love to have my friends, uh, all my acting friends, and I had a lot of them, and I would give their, their pictures and resumes to David Graham, the casting director, right. and say, you know, just see this person. I never, you know used any power I had or thought I had to, to um, you know, say I want this. But they would always use them. And I, and I had more friends guest star on the show, which I always liked, you know. Yeah, the radio I had a bunch days. of friends that, uh, from, like, my neighborhood that uh, just lived next door, my neighborhood friends, and they'd come on and do uh, extra work. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I was really popular on my block because of that. Yeah. Huh? It's funny. Oh, hello, young lady. For four years, and I introduced Dick sometimes as my, uh, my, hu- my, my former husband on TV for four years because we would sit on the sofa on the set and read newspaper and drink coffee and, and just talk about our lives. Because mm-hmm. that phony baloney granddaughter of mine. Now don't blame And Marla, you were always great because I always got nervous when we'd, we'd have to do the cast physicals. Well, yes, I remember. And you'd always come in and hold my oh, hand when they were my taking my blood pressure. Because oh, my blood pressure would always go up. Yeah, you were afraid of doctors. Yeah. And so you'd lie down, and then I'd come in and hold your hand and talk about soothing That's things. Right. That's right. <laughs> and so you actually got me through. Maybe you could be my you know, I don't think they cared that my blood pressure was so high. You know, I could have stroked well, you were, out. You were, you were ah, we'll just get it. We'll just use David. You know. was <laughs> real flesh and blood. You wouldn't know anything about that. Flesh and blood? It's in my memory bank. What do you mean, your memory bank? Oh, that's a technical expression, Harriet. You see, 
We all have memory banks. It's the house across the street. Is, exactly. Oh <laughs> Which you could bump into and have it wave. Walking scrap heap in here. Get her out of my sight. Grandpa, Vicky's not really that bad. Once that you get sweater, going, you'll really that blue sweater that I have on, history. yeah, was mine. And I remember I liked to wear my own clothes. And but I would always forget. Remember how I'd, I'd oh, forget stuff all the time? I would pin notes to your shirt. That's right. You would pin notes to my shirt, and Sandra would pin notes to my shirt. And I would go home, and my wife Chris, Chris would say, would pull the notes would off. Pull the notes off, and then put the stuff in the car so I'd remember. Well, she was wardrobe anyhow. Chris was yeah. a stylist. So yeah. Jimmy, what's wrong? What is it? What is it? <laughs> my chest. Oh. Terrible pain. Oh. 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 I'll get your pills. What pills? Well, if and this was about the time I think the show got real popular. Heart. I remember oh, no. uh, we started getting recognized on right. the streets right. a lot. It's gonna be okay. uh, and remember we went to Disneyland? Right yes. And it was it was like we couldn't go on rides because all we did was sign autographs all day. We, we couldn't move. Did you ever go to Disneyland, Jerry? Uh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't oh man, it was, was it was murder. We just couldn't. No, and Dick and I became friends. I could never friends. get a table at Spago's. Well, but I <laughs> but <laughs> got mobbed at Disneyland. Yeah. But Dick introduced me to my husband, His Tom Rowan, and we became what? good friends. Mm -hmm. And we would From hang Robert out together. John. And we people would see us in grocery stores, like buying stuff for our cabin, and they would the follow us around and couldn't believe thought we were really married. <laughs> I know. Electric shock. Well, don't just stand there. Do it. Do it. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, Vicky. He's breathing. I owe it all to Gonzo. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, how's he doing? You won't believe what Gonzo did. Mm -hmm. I mean, Vicky. What'd she do? She defib... Fibber... She jump-started Grandpa! <laughs> Thanks, I'll hold. <laughs> oh, Jamie, you shouldn't let a little girl carry those heavy cases. Grandma, she's not a little girl. She could carry the whole house if she wanted to. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh, you are so... There adorable. was an episode when she picked up the house. She shook the house because we pretended it was an earthquake. Oh, you that's right. That was a massive okay, special effect. I remember. Oh, yeah. remember? Yeah. Leave you on time. Thank you, dear. Oh, it's we had a, we had a lot of great guest stars. Well, after being yeah. Cooped up well, we in had hospital for a whole Lyle Alzado, no right. Lyle Alzado, the oh, oh, Raiders, Jesse the Body. Yeah. Oh, Jesse yeah. the Body Ventura, Ventura, the governor of uh, Art Linkletter. Art Linkletter. Uh, Danny K. Danny K? Wasn't like no, not Danny K. Danny uh, Foster Brooks. Like he brought a gun in. Oh, Foster Brooks. That's right. The he had a gun on the set. That's right. He had a gun. <laughs> Can you imagine now if you had a gun on the set? Yeah. Oh, remember Danny the the salesman oh, boy, or the? Oh, Danny Wells. Danny Wells. Is that? Yeah. He was uh, in wanting to take Vicky on the road with yes, him. Yes. Yeah. The thin. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He's a friend of yours, wasn't he, Dick he was and David? Yeah. And he was, a, he was a friend of, of Bobby Herbeck, who was the right. warm-up guy. Bobby yeah. Herbeck, he did all the warm-ups, and he ended up doing a lot of the shows. Yeah. He was in that episode where we went to Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby and was. with uh, Vanessa, the, the evil robot. What do you mean? Right. Right. Dad, we didn't want to tell you before because of your condition, but Vicky saved your life. What are you all talking about? It was the paramedics saved my life. No, it was Vicky. She gave your heart an electrical jolt before they even got here. If it hadn't been for Vicky, instead of being an old goat, you'd be a dead duck. <laughs> we didn't write that line. I think that the truth, Mom, Howard wrote that line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Okay. Well, Howard did some Wait a minute, son. Just rewriting. Well, was there a butt joke in this one? I want to have a Yeah, but we cut it out. <laughs> did you? Vicky? In private. So, uh, would y'all Get out. Go on, scoot. All of you. You got it, Dad. It was nice to see me without gray hair. Come over here. Come here, sit next to me. It was nice to see me with hair. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you saved my life. You got it, Dad. <laughs> you see, uh, I had a very good reason for not liking you. You really hate robots. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's interesting that I used to talking about Lyle Alzado. I'm beginning to 
fall he, in love with we got to talking when the episode he, he did, Vicky. and he so, uh, really regretted <laughs> doing all the steroids well, and well, stuff. And he yeah. talked to me. He died of, about of it. brain cancer. Brain cancer, and he, and he attributed that I to the to steroids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure did. I remember when we wrote the episode for Jesse Ventura, we never thought that he would accept the offer, and he accepted in a nanosecond. He was such he, a nice man. And yeah. he, his, remember his son? Yeah. His son was like five years old, but he was, looked like a 10-year-old. Yeah. He was so huge. Yeah. <laughs> you can all stop peeking and come in now. <laughs> oh, Bill, I'm glad you made up with her. So am I. I got to admit, I really flipped for Vicky. <laughs> I hope you do for me, too. Flip for you. Oh, here's a Thursday. <laughs> yeah, Thursday. <laughs> Green string. Vicky, sweetheart, come here. I think I can safely say <clears throat> that there isn't another granddaughter in the world like you. Oh, I'm going to miss you, sweetheart. So am I. You're really something special. Look, Dad, there's another tear on her cheek. Dad, she must really be developing emotions. Yeah, she seems to be getting closer to being a real female. She cries when she's sad, and she cries when she's happy. <laughs> <laughs> the only that touchy touching. moment in uh, that, that was touching. That was a great story. Yeah. I, like our, I like our wedding one, though. I actually got to cry in it. And I cried in all the rehearsals, and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, wedding? To, yeah, it's the double wedding with Edie. Oh, yeah. In the white dress, and she wore a matching dress. That's right. That was a funny episode. And then we, we had a little shot uh, in a chapel. We got married in a chapel, and, and she stayed in the house. I remember that now. Yeah? Yeah. Some of those are and buried so deep back there. Isn't that funny? Yeah. And I said my vows to, uh, to Dick, and I cried at, at every point. And he just like, what's why the effort? And, you know, as I recall, you used those exact same vows when you married Tom. Oh, I did not. <laughs>